Hello and welcome to Curse of the Dead Gods. We kind of um, got what four shown to us last time. Um, but we will uh, take it with stride. Um, for this, I'm going to take the machete and the grape shot revolver and the bow. And uh, we're now going to try the quest for omniscience. And immediately try and get rid of some of those base weapons, especially the um, the machete and the um, two-handed. I don't really use the two-handed weapons very often in this game. We have like one great challenge run with a bow, but that was about it for my um, use of them. And it's uh, it shows, I think. And the machete is not going to be useful at all for us. Because it just does so little damage. And it's just... I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it at all. Again, it's, it's the same weapon types. Like, you know, the barbed whip versus the... Um, the electrical whip. The electrical whip just for whatever reason feels infinite times better to me in its handling. Even though there is nothing um, exactly different um, in the moveset beyond them. Ouch. That was... I didn't even try and dodge that. Okay. I'm just trying to increase my gold reserves. That way I can make use of things. And I really wish I had different weapons for these now because... Oh, right. I need to kill the grubs out. That was bad. That was... I should have parried that. There we go. Had to concentrate way too hard for that one. It was a simple enemy as well. It was stupid of me. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take that because if I can parry as well as I hope, um, hopefully we'll be able to pull something out. That was a good dodge. I wasn't even trying for that dodge. There's that. Well, that's not great. Set it on fire. Good parry. Let him out. All right, that was getting cocky. I'm getting cocky. That was bad. Okay. Yeah, I something about this run just is not sitting right with me already, which is uh not a good feeling when you're this early into it. Yeah, definitely not feeling. Might be just with how hot this room is at the moment. <laughs> Showfield revolver. Okay, there we go. Or a better two-handed bow. Um, I think I go for the showfield. Yeah, showfield's the way to go here. So now we have a proper pistol. Now I just need a proper primary, and then we'll uh, really get this show moving. That's what I like to see. That's a lot what I like to see. Because now we're going to basically be able to remain in light as long as we have an offhand weapon.
That was stupid. It's not great. Still not great. Okay, yeah, this machete needs to go. This machete needs to go. Might be able to pull this back if I get a better primary weapon. We're gonna use the favor to re-roll that, and there we go, Steel Tip Talons. Now, I've got two more favors to re-roll. I think I wanna re-roll them. Yeah, we're gonna re-roll them and try and hope for a better Talon. That is the exact Talon I wanted. Um, one in five chance to inflict poison damage. Love it. So we're going to offer the gold for that. We got talons and we've got a, a show field revolver. Amazing combo that we've got going on right now. I think I'm now going to try and go for the... Um, what is it? The... Uh, what is it? Um, the attributes. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to end up taking a curse at the end of this room, but that'll be fine. Oh, I love the claws because we can just kill so quickly with them. That was terrible. That was absolutely horrible feeling. Rant. I'm, I'm having to deal with the uh, stamina issue, so I gotta get better at dodging, and I gotta definitely get better at um, parrying to try and keep the stamina going a lot, a lot more consistently. Keep, keep it filled. That should have been a parry, but it's fine. We'll just keep rolling with it. What was this level? Was this level gold? Feels like this level was gold. With how much gold I'm seeing on the ground, it definitely feels like this level was filled with gold, which is a good sign because that means I might be able to afford the, um, ooh, we're gonna remove that. So now we're not going to end up taking a curse this room, which is good, but we are going to end up taking a curse before we uh, get to the boss. But if I can do it like last time, hopefully we don't end like yesterday's episode, but if I can do it like last time, I'll be able to have the curse for basically one room. That was a bad one. And um, have it removed immediately afterwards. 10% Gold, I'll take that. What is this one? Healing effects. I I'll take that, actually. Sounds good to me. So, on to two attributes. I mistimed that. That was good. That was a mistime, if there ever was one. Okay, we can definitely throw that away to the gods and have them um, reduce our curse a little bit. Or corruption at rather. And not the most amazing combat arena. But still, I like the combo between the claws and the revolver because it's just the slash slash bang and they're basically dead. 
For this, I'm going to use gold to take both of them because I want the extra damage and I want the max health. Yeah. That's exactly what we want. On to the last attribute. We have a curse, but we're going to then go face the champion. And taking damage triggers a wave of darkness, extinguishing any source in a large zone. You deal 10% damage in the light. Don't get hit. Got it. Seriously, is... Oh, I can just... I can just do that to get through. Okay. I have to use my weapon, so I have to extinguish my light. Very easy there. Twas tw plus twenty percent for bombs. That is useless to me. I didn't even see what the other uh, effect was. I just read the the uh, one effect for bombs and immediately knew it wasn't going to be for me. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! That should light up. More damage, more treasure. We're going to go for the more damage. I can see how better perception would definitely help if you get the relic early on to increase your damage per thousand gold you have. That would definitely be helpful. But as it stands, it's just, I don't, I don't see it. Oh, oh. Okay. Nope, run away. Gotta remember, she's like an enter the gungeon boss. Wait for it. Okay. No, run away. Oh, that's... We're taking a lot of curse from her. All right, I just tried to parry. We apparently can't parry those attacks. That makes sense. Oh, my God. No. Oh, jeez, that... How was that in my hitbox? That shouldn't have been in my hitbox. There we go. Man, that was terrible. That was my worst performance against the boss yet. That's including yesterday's. Terrible. Gotta remove that. All right. And what is this bow? We'll, we'll take the bow. We'll take the bow. Not great, not great. Um, I might want to go for that healing. Let me see. If I go for this... I basically have to choose healing from one of these. So if I take healing right now, I'm going to give up on all possible weapon upgrades. Or if I take this one, I'm going to give up on all attributes. I'm not interested in going to the vault, even though it would probably be a good idea. Um, instead, instead, you know what? No, I'm going to go for this, the attributes, and then the relics. Yeah. Maybe just one relic and then go straight into um, the gold so I can afford one of the uh, other relics. This does mean that I'm going to... Um, Alright, take the full health. Take the curse. It's fine. 
So we're going to go attribute gold, gold, relic, relic. I'm going to hope the relics help us. Max stamina reduced by one. Killing an enemy with any weapon restores two stamina points instead of one. Okay. So that's a terrible curse to have. Much per be uh, much more enjoyable if I had five pips of stamina instead of just four. But we uh, just have to deal with what we got. Maybe get a relic that gives me more stamina. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge game. Definitely take that. That will help us with our Showfield Revolver. Damn it. Ah! Oh. Stamina is going to be a big issue for this run. With this curse, stamina is going to be a huge issue. Unless we get a relic that helps us with more stamina, this is going to be a terrible run for me. I thought I had that timing on that parry. I thought I had the timing on that parry as well. Go for the more health. Ah, oh, this is going to be... This is going to be work. I feel like this, this run is going to be work. It's going to work me over. We got big, two big guys. I don't like fighting the big guys that often or very much because I'm just, I don't think I have their, uh, jeez. All right, yeah, that guy's in fire. Oh, oh, you know what? I just, can I? All right, so I have to do the perfect shot to have it ignite, but I might be able to ignite them prematurely ignite those uh, poison clouds. Ouch. That's what I want. Was this weakened enemies? Um, I'll take it. That was nice. That poison cloud explosion was real nice. We got a chest, and we got some ghouls protecting the chest. Jeez. I, I still think I have pretty decent health. I still have decent health right now. I'm going to restore 8% of it. And, um... Do I want to go double gold or get an attribute and then a relic? I think my attributes are actually fine. I'm going to go for another gold, and then we're going to go double relic. Good greed kill. That helps my increase my gold a bit. I am poisoning as well as setting them on fire. This is an amazing combo. I, I cannot sing the praises of this wombo combo enough. 
Pistol and Claws are... Poisoned Claws and Flaming Pistol are a gosh dang masterpiece when it comes to this game. That was bad. That was bad. I just don't have the timing down for these big guys. There we go. That was bad. That was real bad. What's in here? That's real good. Okay, I think I've got plenty of gold to purchase. It's terrible. I'm doing terrible here. I'm taking un do damage. Oh, you think you can sneak up on me? Well, you can. I don't have a good track record of blocking them when they uh, teleport behind me, but I was able to do it there. Okay, relic, or no, different weapons. Um, F those. Give me the gold. <laughs> There's no way you can tear these claws out of my hands unless you kill me. Okay, second curse. What do we got? Chests are trapped. Fun. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, it hurts. It hurts. It still feels like work. Something about this run just is is draining me. And it's uh, not enjoyable. But I am getting pretty dang good. We're going to just increase our um, health with that. Because I've got decent gold. I think 3,000 gold is going to be enough to buy us two relics. Nope. So we'll on these guys down here. No, I really got a question if I want to get rid of the curse that removes one of my pips of stamina. Because being able to regen two pips of stamina with each kill is actually really good. Okay. Now, with that said, we got to figure out these. Um, I think I'm going to take the snake fang. That said, I'm going to exchange it for my level 2 Snake Fang. Of course, I could just stack my poison damage. I think I'm actually going to get rid of my Worshipper's Cloak. Change the Worshipper's Cloak for the Snake Fang. And now we're stacking poison damage. It's gonna be it's gonna cost me more to get things, 
but I've got plenty of gold at the moment to be able to afford that um, 10% increase. And not have, or rather, not have the 10% discount. I could have had that. I could have I could have parried that. I could have been better. Just easy. Shit! Oh, I forgot the curse! <laughs> I forgot that we had that curse. Um, yeah, we're gonna remove... We're gonna offer that to the gods for the for the uh, health restore. Because I'm not really using my, cir my uh, circle, which is my bow. That said... Oh! That is not a bad bow to have! I never realized that my bow is actually pretty good. If I, all right, you know what? That that instills confidence in me against the upcoming champion. Or rather, the upcoming boss. Ah, damn it. Those guys. Oh my God. Doing terrible, doing terrible. All right, yeah, we're gonna remove some corruption with that. We're gonna see what we got here. All right, so another relic. What's the one that we can't have? Plus 45% against weakened enemy. That would mean... I kind of want that one. I kind of want to do that one. Yeah, we're going to offer the blood. We're gonna offer the blood for the Obsidian Fragments 3. Because that's going to give us um, the dexterity increase, which is huge. Um, and now we're going to go against the uh, second boss. And third curse. Temple can switch appearance. Gain plus five perception. I It's not going to affect me in this fight, but I'm, I'm still not a fan of it. Um, Ratapuya, the, the abomination. I remember you being relatively easy to defeat. Like, we defeated you first try very easily, if I remember correctly. Because, like, I had the uh, the parries down, which I don't have right now. Whoops. Oh. That's what we want to see. Ouch, that's not what I wanted to see. Ouch. Why am I poisoned still? We got it. That was close. That was much closer than I was hoping for. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Get us back up to five um, pips. It's not bad. Um, Alright, I think I'm going to remove the 33% healing. Of course, I could just increase... I could offer it to my gods for more perception. Yeah. We're going to do that. And then... Ooh, nine perception. I gotta take it for the uh, for the health increase. Now, for this, I think I go here for healing to the weapon upgrade. Gold, gold, weapon upgrade. Yeah, two weapon upgrades is gonna hopefully be the best 
here. Um, we're as far in as I've ever been. I really hope... I'm, I'm only going to take two. I'm not going to fill it up all the way. I really hope that I can um, perform well and not have uh, the fifth curse by the time I reach the end here. That was bad. That was bad timing. Good timing. Good timing. Bad timing. Exceptionally bad timing in that bout. Wait for the stamina. How did that not get me? Okay, let's pop the grubs. Oh, that was bad timing. Or you know what? Having the extra pip of stamina not really helping me here. Definitely not helping me here. Oh my. And we're poisoned. This is terrible. Yeah, having. Would, would these guys just never end? Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Am I not going to make it out of this first room? I can't parry them for shit. I'm not enjoying <laughs> I'm not enjoying this at all. Oh, my God. Um So we're increasing the damage of these by 20% because we have got 20. I think I go for this and just increase. Yeah, we're going to offer the blood for the talons. Oh, this is just super draining. Right, yeah, gold we're corrupted third curse. Each door imposes a 300 gold tax. Damn it. Hate that. Yeah, I think I was... I shouldn't have gotten rid of the... Um, the curse that removed one pip of stamina. That was a mistake on my end. Because... The benefit of it increasing um, or restoring two pips on each enemy kill, I think, is what was really helping me out in keeping keeping a good balance of um, stuff. All right? Yeah, he's finished. Big guys, I hate. Oh, okay. Just focus on him first. Restore the stamina. Now it's just one on one. Gotta take my targets and prioritize them. I think prioritizing um, the enemies is really the name of the game once you get this far in. I don't like that he's a... Oh my god, I actually did it. I actually did it. 
I actually did it again. Okay. I'm getting back in the group. I think I lost the group a little bit with how bad my performance was during the boss. Oh my god, I forgot about the curse. Gold offerings remove five. All right, you know what? I, I, I actually have to just heal. I have to heal. All right, yeah. Spend the 300 gold, but that healed us again. So what is healing us when we go through the doors? Is that the curse that heals us? There we go. What is this? Ceremonial dagger? No way. 20% base damage main weapon is a claw though, but I'm already getting 20% base damage based on my dexterity modifier. Plus 3% base damage per point of perception. So, oh, oh. Huh. No. <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about it, but claw and um, claw and revolver. That is my com. That is my uh, weapon combo. And I'm sticking with it. I think I'm definitely gonna be on the fourth curse before we're even halfway. Looking at what my curses are doing and my corruption levels. Um, it's not terrible at the moment, but I can already tell I'm... Oh, jeez! Oh, I don't know who to focus! No, I was out of stamina! Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Oh. I don't want to get rid of this automaton thing. Oh, this is... This might be my final room today. This might be my final room. Just go away! Oh, come on! Oh, that was bad. I went from over a thousand health to half. Two relics. That's more constitution. Gotta remove the corruption. That's more dexterity. That's just a straight up better claw. I'll take that. I really hate that. I hate that it keeps flipping on me. Is there more gold down here? There is a path down here. Okay. Uh, where do I gotta go? I think this way. Did I just come from here? I feel like I just came from there. This is why I don't like that curse that flips the room around on me. Come on. Increases max stamina by one. I'm taking it. We're going to remove that. Yeah. Six pips. Okay. Okay. I don't... We're going this way. Okay. This is the way to go. Okay. Upgrade. Oh. I have 2,000 health, and I'm a quarter health. Son of a bitch.
There we go. Start popping those guys like that. Okay. Run away. Run away. Oh my gosh. I hate those little... I hate those. Okay. Okay. You know what? I might see the final boss. I might see the final boss. In fact, yeah, I'm probably going to see the final boss. I'm not going to be able to do much against him, but I'm definitely going to see him. Um... Let's go ahead and take a, a tier 4 weapon. It's going to be useless. This there's no, there's no weapon that I would want from that unless it is like a tier 5 weapon. Now, oh, I thought Okay. My previous statement about seeing the boss may have been exaggerated because I thought I was uh, at the boss. I can no longer guarantee that we're going to see the boss. Son of a... Definitely not seeing the boss. Shit. Shit. Run away, run away. Yeah, definitely not. This is gonna be a gauntlet through hell. Okay, just get that stamina back up. Get that stamina back up. Down to back up. Jesus. Come on. Come on. There we go. Well, it's tier four. Still not taking any of them. Uh, what, were, what were they? Just... Just out of curiosity, what were they? Because right now would be the time to offer blood for them. But, yeah. And I've got one more favor, so I could re-roll them. Just to see what they have. Base damage increases by your percentage of HP missing. Plus 20%. But more damage taken. Could go all for nothing with this one. Could go all for nothing with this scepter. Do I do that? Mm. This would be risky. This would be incredibly risky. Well, we would be getting this two, four, six, eighty percent plus damage, plus whatever percentage our HP is. So that would be huge damage increase. Do I change it up now? I th think I re-roll and see what we have. And uh, that, that, uh, I, I should have taken the mace. I should have taken the mace. Should have taken the mace. <laughs> Thinking about it now, I, yeah, probably should have taken the mace. There's absolutely no way I win against the boss. But we did see the boss. We, uh, Dark Avatar of the Serpent. The heck are you, sir? Oh, you summon little serpent dudes? Oh. 
Light on fire. Okay, run away. Get, get stamina. That was. Oh, I had that parry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he has the, he has a back hit like that. Back up. This is fine. Oh, did he summon? He summoned elites. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, we're not winning this. We are not winning this. There's no way we win this. Unless I play the best goddamn Curse of the Dead Gods in my life right here. Which is not gonna happen. Okay. Oh! Oh, you know what? We might. Can't get cocky. Can't get cocky. Get away. Get away. Get away. Oh, yes. We got it. Holy shit. Holy shit. We beat the Temple of the Serpent. And I wasn't feeling good about it. Ha, 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 ha. Look at that, y'all! Look at that! Thank y'all for coming out. I hope you guys had a good time. If you enjoyed the episode, please click that like button. It, deals a, it does a great deal for me. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But most importantly, have a wonderful...